Hello and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can improve your Apple Music listening experience with a new update that Apple has rolled out, which for the very first time brings lossless audio as well as Dolby Atmos support directly to Apple Music. But first, let me start by explaining what lossless audio and Dolby Atmos are. So traditionally, music being played on your phone uh, or many other places that where you might listen to music is played in an AAC file. And that's the type of file type that, that is used. And that file format is designed with reducing the file size of music you're listening to. But that has a hit on the audio quality because it has to be compressed and you lose some of the details within your audio and particularly the music. Now lossless is effectively a different type of audio compression, but this time no detail is lost due to compression, hence the term lossless. Now Dolby Atmos is an immersive audio format that enables musicians to mix music so it sounds like instruments are all around you in space. So both lossless and Dolby Atmos are designed to enhance your music listening experience. Now when it comes to device and headphone compatibility, it can get a bit confusing, so I'm going to try and break it down to make it easy to understand. So lossless audio can be listened using the latest Apple Music app on an iPhone, iPad, Mac or Apple TV. Now what that basically means is that you have to be running iOS or iPadOS 14.6, macOS 11.4 or tvOS 14.6 or later. So if your device meets those eligibility requirements, then you'll be able to listen to lossless Apple Music. Dolby Atmos has the same software requirements as I just mentioned, however the hardware requirements are a bit more restricted. So in terms of iPhones, you can use an iPhone 7 or later. To listen on an iPad, you have to have an iPad mini 5th generation or later, iPad Air 3rd generation or later, the standard iPad 6th generation or later, an iPad Pro 11 inch, or 3rd generation iPad Pro 12.9 inch. So those are the device requirements for Dolby Atmos. Listening to lossless audio through headphones is a lot more restricted. There are currently no wireless earphones or headphones that support lossless audio, and that's because of the current limited capability of Bluetooth to transmit the amount of data required for lossless audio. You can, however, use any wired headphones or earphones and you'll be able to listen to lossless audio although it might not sound completely perfect depending on the quality of the headphone that you're using and if you want to listen to high resolution lossless then you will need your audio device to have an external digital to analog converter or DAP which is something that's required to process the additional amount of data involved with delivering the higher audio quality. Once you've got your head around whether or not you can actually listen to lossless or Dolby Atmos audio, you're going to want to know how to enable it. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. If we head to settings, and once we're here, scroll down to the uh, further down the list where there's music, and tap on that. And if we go down a bit, we're going to be focusing on this section here, which is the audio section. So the first item in this section is Dolby Atmos. So if I tap on that, I have three options. I can choose automatic, always on or off. So if I don't want to listen to it, it's very simple, just tap off. I can keep it on all the time. And it will just explain to me a few of the limitations here. So it lets me know that it's not supported on all speakers. But I can hit turn on anyway. And I have the third option at the top, which is automatic. So this is where it will switch the feature on automatically in the background, depending on the audio you're listening to, whether it is Dolby Atmos compatible, and whether you're listening to it through a compatible audio device. So let me go back now. And the next item is audio quality. So this is where we can adjust our lossless options. So here I can turn lossless audio on or off. So I've got it on at the moment. And at the bottom, we've got a few options. So this is to do with our data usage. Obviously, lossless audio uses more data, as I mentioned earlier. So it will have an impact on how much data our device is having to download while we're streaming. As a result of that, you might want to change whether or not lossless audio is used. If you have a low mobile data allowance, you might want to have it set so that lossless audio doesn't play whilst you're on mobile data, so you can save that extra bit of data. So in that case, I can just tap on mobile data streaming, and I can choose, as I've got here, high quality. 
So I've set it for high quality because I don't need to have lossless audio whilst I'm not at home or connected to a Wi-Fi connection. And you can see at the bottom here, it gives you an indication of how much data approximately is used for each different quality setting. So you can use this to decide for yourself what you want to use. And we have the same options for Wi-Fi streaming, so whenever we're connected to Wi-Fi, and we can choose what quality we want our downloaded music to be. So if you've got a, a device with less storage, then you might want to perhaps choose a lower audio download quality just to save that extra bit of space if that's something that's important to you. And if I go back one more time, you can see that if I scroll down a tiny bit, over here we have down downloading Dolby Atmos, so I do have the option to choose whether or not I want to have that switched on. Now to finish off, I just want to show you how you can tell what type of quality the music you're listening to is. So I've got me my music library open here. And at the bottom I've got a song playing which isn't lossless or Dolby Atmos supported. And as you can see it just looks like any normal song that you're used to. And if I go to the album, again it looks just like anything you're used to seeing normally. However, if I go down, I've actually got a song that is higher quality. You can see from the album view, it says high resolution lossless. So in this case, it's actually high resolution and not just standard lossless. And if I start playing this and just pause it quickly and open the music player, you can see over here it says lossless. Now, if it was Dolby Atmos, you'd also have Dolby Atmos written here and same for within the album view. And I can just tap on this lossless icon and it just confirms to me exactly what I'm listening to. So here you can see it says 24 bit, uh, 48 kilohertz ALAC, available in high resolution lossless. And I can tap here to go straight to my audio quality settings that I just went through earlier, if you want to do that straight from the music app. So that's lossless and Dolby Atmos support in Apple Music. It's definitely a welcome feature, and obviously it's free to anyone who already uses Apple Music, so you have to pay extra for it but you get this brilliant new enhancement to any music that's supported. And most music you have in your library will be supported, um, but there are just a few, one or two, which might not be. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button to show your appreciation. And if you've got any questions or comments, then do leave them in the comment section of this video. Please do also consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell icon so you get notified when any new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.